Yes, we are midweek. Are we yeah. midweek? Are we almost We're at the end of the past? Oh end. my goodness. <laughs> Hallelujah. Tell hey, me what's going to happen. Hang on. We've got a lot of <laughs> okay, changes good. coming our way as we head through the next few days. We are tracking some monsoonal moisture as well. Let's take you into that microclimate forecast. And as we have been telling you, and we have all been experiencing, that foggy breeze today really helped out. And you can see how thick that fog is. And it's back at the coastline. So as I head through uh, tomorrow morning's forecast, we're still looking at some spotty drizzle and fog and ahead some monsoonal moisture with those thunderstorm chances. So let's go ahead and take it right into tomorrow morning and you can see that fog. I think it's going to hang out here through about 11 o'clock, especially near the bay in San Francisco with spotty drizzle by the afternoon. Still may be hard to get rid of some of that fog near the bay while the rest of us would be under that sun. Temperatures, no big changes here. We're going to go through these temperatures kind of fast so then we can get to those thunderstorm chances and you can see we'll start it here with the 50s all across the Bay Area, San Francisco 56. North Bay coming in at 55 daytime highs for tomorrow. Also stay on a nice stride for us down here in the South Bay. 83 in Los Gatos, 86 in Morgan Hill, right through the East Bay, 76 Vallejo, 85 Danville, 72 in Hayward. The peninsula, no issues, 72 in Redwood City, 78 in Palo Alto, San Francisco, 65 in downtown and across the North Bay. Get away from the foggy breeze again, hot 100 to Kai to Clear Lake and down to Sonoma. We are at 83. So tomorrow we're holding pretty steady, but we're definitely going to evolve into some very interesting changes here that we're going to be watching real close to the Bay Area beginning this weekend into next week. Now, what we have been seeing is this area of high pressure helping to bring some of that inland heat and of course that fog. But once we roll into this weekend, that area of high pressure is going to take a little bit of a backseat, move over the desert southwest and we're watching the system develop offshore. Now, this is important because the circulation around this system would help to drive up some humidity lightning chances just to the south and the east of us. So that's of concern this weekend. Of course, if anything gets close, we're going to be tracking that for you. But I actually think at this point, the increased chances for us that could actually bring some rainfall, some spotty areas of rain may get here on Monday and Tuesday because what we're tracking is Tropical Storm Frank. While this storm system will dissipate in the Pacific, some of the moisture associated with it could actually get caught up in this flow Monday and Tuesday for the chance of some spotty thunderstorms. So right now, Monday and Tuesday's best possibility with temperatures in the 60s and again, some increasing humidity as you move through the next few days. So it might feel a little bit tropical time to time, and we're definitely going to have that Doppler radar up and watching those skies. Of course, with the drought, any lightning would be bad news at this point. And it's Thursday. Yes. All right, we'll be right back.